Well, hello gardening friends. I am having another afternoon off and I'm so excited once again to have a few hours of sunshine. So I'm going to walk around the garden and just look at everything and show you what's been growing. Um, and yeah, and just hang out in the garden, um, show you the things that I think are so beautiful. And I did pick up a peppercini. I usually don't buy anything from stores, but I got this at our local farm and garden store with my chicken food. You know how it is, you can't resist. And I got um, banana pepper. So those are the two peppers that I didn't, I don't have. I have jalapenos and bell peppers. Um, and those are just the peppers I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna throw these in. I really love pickled banana peppers and I know how to pickle peppers. And um, I've been eating my pickled jalapenos all year and I'm so happy about that. So just bought a couple, see how they go. Um, it says that they are GMO free. So um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're heirloom though but I'll probably, oh yeah, traditional Italian heirloom pepper. Okay, so I can save, oops, sorry, I can save the seeds from this, um, and then I can have more next year. So I just bought one because they're so expensive when you buy them at this size. So mine inside are still about this big, but I'm ready to move stuff outside really soon. We're getting down in the 40s tonight, so <clears throat> yeah, so let's go check it out, and uh, thanks for clicking on this video. All right, so last day of March, garden tour. This is the patient hour in the garden, but it's starting to happen. So I've got potatoes in these grow bags. I'm really excited. Um, oh, there's some in there too with the onions because I do have a problem here with it getting too saturated and my potatoes kind of rotting in the ground. So I have this many, these are 50 pound, 50 gallon grow bags. They look like they're kind of tight in there, but um, when these grow up a little higher, I will try to add some more soil. Um, yeah, so here's the strawberry bed as it is. I probably need to do a little thinning, but you can see they, they try to come out. <laughs> um, but you can see I have some little pathways in here and looking forward to a lot of strawberries. This patch is not the most productive. The most productive is the newest one out there. So um, I have three patches. So let's go look at the front garden. This right here is a big elephant ear and it comes back every year and gets bigger and I actually dug some of it out last year and moved it to the pool area. So um, more potatoes in that bucket. These are just some spring flowers that come up every year. Um, and I've got this cardboarded off so that <clears throat> when I'm, my flowers that I'm starting are ready, I will have a weed-free spot for them. That's my hibiscus. I brought it out. That's a little triple avocado tree that I need to pot up. And lemongrass. Hopefully that'll come back. And I've got some. These are some really cool Chinese chives they're different than regular they're like flat leafed but I actually grew these from seeds so and they haven't died they lived outside all winter so gotta love that <clears throat> this is a gardenia and then behind it is a fig and we've tried to cut this fig down so many times and it just comes back it's crazy so it's gonna stay um, it's already got figs on it this whole area needs a little work but that's okay. We, we look at this area over here. This is our happy place. Here are the peas. They're doing good. Let's get in a little closer, but I'll just kind of show you what's going here. These are those um, onions that came as bulbs, and they've all come up. And then next to them, I have a mix of green onions and garlic. And... I love those green onions and yesterday I separated and moved some of the green onions because they multiply and I want more so um, and then beyond that I have the onions that I started as um, like starts like that so I have quite a few different styles just to see what works best and garlic over here and then you can see the potatoes coming up over there and the garlic over there it's really all there is but we'll, we'll walk around anyway and check it out 
Here are the peas. My little half moon trellis. <clears throat> so they're not too thick. I'd say, see this one doesn't have anything to grab onto. They really want to climb. So I tried to get them. This one I add, added a piece, which reminds me I need to plant cucumbers. So these are the green onions. And if they're in loose enough soil, you can just get a few of them. So I will dig this out. And you can either move it to another spot to have more multiply, or you can have that one for dinner. There's a little worm in there. Okay, so I can just move this and plant it. And you can see it's already making a second one there. So these are incredible to me because I don't have to work for it. I can have onions all year round. Hey, worm. See him? So I could pull, an pull another one of these and, and move it. Maybe I'll take this one. I mean, easy as that, and then I can just move it and have have more. So, this is my new favorite thing, and they're, you know, onions are so healthy, and I love them. So, grow what you love and what's good for you. Soil is super nice right here. Just gonna make a hole, make it a little wider. So I'm going to hopefully have lots and lots of onions all summer and hopefully into the winter because these are so, they're so hardy. And they, I planted these way in the winter. I'll have to look back and put a time and a video maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to have to eat these because the roots broke off of these, but that's good with me. Have some jagged red or um, kale here that I just threw in and but once it takes off it'll take off I tried to thin it a little because you know um, but there's a few down there that are really taken off and it's just like for for a while it seems like it's so slow and then all of a sudden you have all these plants so just be patient this is the part my husband hates so I just threw this over because there's weeds right here and after I'm ready after another couple weeks I'll move that and plant something right there all right so through here I have bok choy and in here I have cantaloupe A pretty good amount of cantaloupe planted in there like maybe 12 seeds so that'll be enough and then acorn squash which we got a lot of rain you can see it's really saturated so but hopefully they'll come up um, I see a, kale, a little baby kale there and maybe something there and there's another kale it got over here so yeah never grown pak choy before and it's probably too late in the season it's gonna get pretty hot pretty quick here that compost pile is just going to sit until it's ready and I'm using it as needed. I've taken some out of it, you can see. Okay, so here's these onions. They're doing good. They need a little more mulch to keep the weeds at bay. When I pull the weeds out, I'll soak them in a bucket and then I throw them, and then I use the juice from that. Um, Miss Linda, the New Orleans gardener, calls that super juice. Um, I'll pour that on the plants to water it and then I throw the weeds on top of this cardboard and what it does is it just holds my cardboard down and then I mean these are gonna die and then they're just mulch on top and I mean yeah they might come back their roots might come back but I'll just mulch over them till they can't make it anymore this is a beautiful plant that I just left here it's a weed so it's for the bees. This is that yarrow. I planted from seed last year. 
and it's gonna come back and just get huge so um, I haven't used it for anything it makes beautiful flowers but it's also medicinal I haven't used it though and my lavender I brought this outside from inside it's been in there all winter but I grew this from seed and I'm pretty pretty happy that I actually <laughs> didn't kill it um, this one came from the store and it's been inside all winter geranium I don't even know what it was called I kept it alive and it reflowered so I'm assuming this is gonna come back I might want to trim that up a little <clears throat> okay is this boring okay there's some cilantro hi kitty you heard it was boring without you yeah the cilantro was trying to bolt so I popped the top off of one of them this one's trying to bolt as well or go to seed you know so I don't know I need to eat some before it's too hot because it just gets so hot so fast here T potatoes are coming up awesome those over there where the cat is are purple potatoes and you can tell they kind of have more of a purple color to them and all these potatoes came up here Oh, I've been eating asparagus that line right there is my asparagus row and I've been picking them and eating them because it's season three and I've waited and I've let them fern and it's time to eat them so that's great and eating raw asparagus is so delicious like what so good who knew and even the cat needs to get some of the weeds so she's eating that grass you know you can grow cat grass for um, if you have an indoor cat and they don't get to eat grass you can grow them some alrighty then garlic looking beautiful I've been putting coffee grinds on the garlic I don't know if it likes coffee grinds but it's getting it I need to come weed in here this is like this is this ground cover that you know it just takes over but it comes out pretty easily and then it comes back pretty easily so you got a heavy mulch so this garlic germinated really well this is grocery store garlic that I grew last year so it's like second generation happy farms garlic now <laughs> So I just I wanted to experiment with the grocery store garlic because it's all I had and I didn't want to order garlic last year. So I grew regular conventional grocery store garlic and it did great and these are all the babies. Great germination. We'll see how they bulb up. It's going to be a while but I love growing garlic and onions now. Now that I, I know I can do it and it's not hard, it's one of the easiest, you just have to get it in at the right time because it takes a while to grow. So I put mine in in the winter. Oh, there's a lot of weeds out here. <laughs> like literally, if you don't cardboard, the grass just comes back. So that's why we cardboard. Yes, okay. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Over here are the tomatoes. I threw some flowers in here too, but who knows. These are some romas that I put out and we're gonna get down in the 40s tonight, which I haven't been covering them because we haven't been getting that cold, but I lost a few in transition. Look how tiny of one I put out here. But I have a bunch more, so I just like to experiment. I don't need 50 tomato plants so yeah that one not looking so hot either and I have some kohlrabi that I threw in here I'm so crazy I'll be throwing stuff in okay and out here I have also tomatoes which I need to cover tonight and I have an empty row on the left empty row on the right and tomatoes so these are also really small so I will cover them with my plastic covers tonight see that one over there got some onions out here too but there's another tomato over there 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 so I 
gotta cover those. And then the strawberries are ready to go. I see some flowers here and there. So this is this has been the ideal way to grow strawberries because they um, they have some room and they spread and they kind of hang off the side like that. What's this? I don't know what that is. One more thing. This is my key lime tree that I that died in last year's snowstorm. This is the dead part, but it's trying. It's trying. So I think I'm going to cut off the main part. And I just couldn't move that in this winter again. I thought it was dead and then it's just too big to move, so I haven't. And also, these blackberries need to go in the ground. These were some that I dug up to share and then I shared and then had some more. So this is three different, well this one, this one died, two blackberries to add. My camera is so dirty, like, it's amazing that it's still here. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. The cars are going by. Um, as always, I'm so excited to get in the garden and just get some, just some quiet time. So I encourage you to, you know, just get out and do it and Lately, I haven't been trying to film any how-to videos, like, um, I'm just taking it easy. The garden is my happy place, and so if you're joining me for gardening videos, thank you so much. If you have questions, I'll try to help you. Otherwise, just know that I'm still learning after five years, so, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you can enjoy your day. I hope the sun is shining. Wear your SPF and a hat. All right. See you guys in the next one. Bye.